Today's video is super exciting because I love this style. I really, really love this style. So this is all about French country and I'm going to go over where it came from, what it is and how to get the look. All right, guys, let's dive in. All right, so I cannot lie. This is one of my absolutely personal favorites. I have a few arts and crafts is one of them, but French country is another one and do not confuse this with Modern Farmhouse. This is not Modern Farmhouse, this is French Country. It is a very different look. What's interesting about French Country design is it comes from the French countryside. Literally, that's where it comes from, in Paris. The core of French Country is a refined elegance that definitely focuses on nature and natural elements, but with a whitewashed you know, wood, which you'll see very common theme in this, and also that very light neutral color palette. So this is very light and bright and airy, but also not overly fussy, which is what I love about this look. So there are three distinct characteristics that make up this look. Softly patterned fabrics in very muted colors, distressed painted and vintage furniture, which I love, and accessories, <laughs> and lots of woods and other natural materials. So I just, I love everything about this. I'm drooling. <laughs> so you'll find that the colors in this look are definitely on the warmer side. Although we see a lot of white, it is definitely on the warmer side of hues that we will see used in this look. So think of soft yellows, warm pinks, baby blues, and even some creams, and then all, and white as well. All right, so let's talk about the fabrics. And a lot of you guys pointed out that I said this wrong, so I will try to say it right. It is called Wall. <laughs> I can laugh at myself. I didn't know how to pronounce it. I knew what it was, but I did not know how to pronounce it the first time I said it. So officially it's Toile de Joy, which I did Google for that second part, but I'm not sure if I said it right because I'm not French. However, best known as Toile. So this is a very traditional pattern that you will see used quite often in French country looks. It is usually printed on a cotton or a linen fabric and it can be used for upholstery, for drapes, for bedding, you name it, tablecloths, wallpaper, everything. I've even seen that print on, you know, like plates and different things. So it's a very typical, uh, not even just fabric, it's the print that you see most common in this look. <laughs> and one of the great things about this particular pattern, Yay. I'll say it right, <laughs> is it can be paired with a lot of other patterns. So it's interesting because although it is a busier pattern, because of the way that it's done, it does work really well when you combine it with stripes, plaids, checks, ginghams. And even small florals. So other patterns that you will see used in the French country design style include stuff with roosters on it. Not something I personally like so much, but you know, okay. Damask, love a damask. Great, damask is always great. Furniture in this look. That's what I love about this look. It is comfortable. <laughs> so it is based around comfort and style, but you will definitely see a lot of upholstered seating and there's a lot of, you know, soft and cozy cushions. So here you can add in, you know, more pillows, more comfort. It's definitely not something where it's too rigid or too formal. It definitely something, you know, like that cloud sofa that was really popular for a minute. I don't know if it still is, but that, you know, in like a beautiful white linen or even a cream linen with lots of pillows on it, that would really work well in this type of a look. A lot of time you're furniture pieces like your tables and your sideboards or your cabinetry, you'll find it's almost distressed or painted or whitewashed. Like you see a lot of that in this look. And I think where people got modern farmhouse or the farmhouse look confused with French country was that it uses a lot of that too. But one thing with French country is it's a lot more muted across the board. Like you don't get as many hits of bold colors where I feel like in, farmhouse you might not always but it's there's definitely a good distinction between the two and i'll try to show you an example of a modern farmhouse versus a french country and then you'll really see how it's incorporated differently a little tip 
on getting this look is, you know, something like wrought iron or a rustic metal accents and accessories paired with distressed French country furniture is a really nice juxtaposition that you will see in this look. Now, from an architectural standpoint, the most popular elements of this look traditionally, which if you have awesome, definitely show it off, exposed wood ceiling beams, which is, I mean, we I feel like a lot of people like that look. If you happen to have it, this is great for that look. Natural stone, wood or brick floors, and you know, that weathered aged appearance. That's just that, for this look. Now, one of the things I need to point out that's really key to defining French country from especially a modern farmhouse, because I feel like this is where people really get confused with the two looks, is that French country will infuse some elegance into it. And what I mean by that is that refined elegance. So some of the chairs, for example, with some of the more ornate details, but in a whitewash with then like a linen covering. That's more French country, and you wouldn't really see that in a modern farmhouse look. And that's a really distinct difference between the two looks as well. It's almost like a shabby chic interior. I think that's a really good word for it. Shabby chic interior, you know, versus um, a farm, modern farmhouse is more like casual rustic. Yeah, that's how we want to explain that. Yeah, there we go. I would say French country is more feminine as well. Like I, that's a big difference. Like modern farmhouse is, I, I don't want to say it's masculine cause that's not the case, but French country definitely has a more feminine like quality to it. So that's a really key element. So some of the accessories that you want to bring into French country, because in this look you can accessorize quite a bit. So popular choices are things like throws and cushions and then things with noticeable patterns on it. Like we just talked about. So we did talk about some of the patterns, but there is a really strong presence of natural materials and natural fabrics within the French country design style. You know, choosing some botanical themes within your prints and fabrics is really a key element of this look. And you can bring that through, you know, curtains, bed sheets, cushions, a lot of different ways that you can actually bring this into your space. You can also use it in your accessories. So think of, you know, a group of paintings that might have like a botanical theme to it. That would look really beautiful in this look with a beautiful white frame. Something like that would work really well in French country. I also feel like you see a lot of lavender or baby's breath is another one that you'll see some of, you know, in your decor pieces. When it comes to fabrics, cotton and linens are probably your most popular within this look. You definitely wouldn't be seeing, you know, velvets or silks. That's not really um, ties to the French country vibe so much. So definitely a lot more cottons and linens and soft natural. So the natural theme and the natural materials really flow throughout this look. So when it comes to some of the accents, mirrors go a long way in the French country look. And again, it's more of that filigree, more of that kind of what you picture as traditional, um, a gilded frame. And whether you do it in like a gold or a distressed painted look, either way, using mirrors in this space really is excellent for the decor and the look of the space and it helps keep that light bright airiness which is a really big factor of this look as well. All right let's go into some of the signature elements of this look to try and incorporate to really get the French country look in your space. So upholstered chairs with the cabriolet, basically cabriolets in general, Ca cabriolet. <laughs> Basically cabriole legs in general are, you know, it's that very, I'll show a picture, very traditional French look. Uh, painted furniture specifically in whites and creams like the lighter, but painted furniture in general. Benches, toile fabrics, gotcha, I'm saying it right. Distressed cabinets, freestanding tubs. Oh, who doesn't love a clawfoot tub? Well, I mean, maybe you don't, but I love a cloth, claw foot tub and that looks really wonderful in this look. You know, and like penny rounds, oh, that looks great in a bathroom as well. Just a couple other side notes. Large kitchen islands, which I feel like a lot of people like those for lots of different looks, but it goes great in this look. And then chandeliers with like the actual little crystal droplets. Like that is a very beautiful French country accessory lighting. I didn't really talk about lighting. Lighting is always important in every look. As you know, ambient accent and 
task lighting. And when you're talking about lighting in this look, it's that beautiful, like traditional, what you think of as a traditional chandelier. It works really, really well in this look. Armoires, armoires are beautiful. I don't know what you put in an armoire these days if you have closets, but they're still just beautiful to have. And a nice, beautiful, traditional shape in the French provincial style, um, having, you know, exposed beams if possible. Of course, not everybody has that, but if you can, it looks great. So those are all of those, some of those traditional key elements that would really level up your space to look like French country. If you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're enjoying the content of this video, I highly recommend you check out my Grand Millennial style. It's a super fun one. It's kind of like, different than French country, but yet really fun and interesting and lots of patterns. And it's almost like the very bold version, maybe of French country, not really, but anyways, go check it out. I think you'll like it. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time. Bye.